Greetings everyone, and today I would like to continue my talk on uh, spirituality of Genghis Khan. So, um, why I'm making this video? It is because, you know, um, uh, books don't, you know, uh, you know, some books don't talk much about this stuff. Previously, um, I talked about, you know, uh, this uh, Genghis Khan about women, and a woman should obey, you know, uh, her husband, etc., etc. And today I would like to um, talk about, you know, uh, Genghis Khan about, you know, foreign religions. I mean, in this book, uh, 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 the writer uh, says that uh, Genghis Khan was, you know, tolerant, uh, you know, for these uh, foreign religions, and um, he, uh, you know, uh, wasn't like, you know, this. Uh, other medieval lords who uh, point out one religion and thinks that you know this religion must be the dominant religion in the state, something like that. So um, he is he was he thinks that you know, every religion should be somehow uh, equal, uh, can be practiced equal in his uh, empire. So uh, our southern neighbor has this uh, religion called uh, Taoism. And I know that this Taoism is something recent. I mean, uh, Taoists uh, claim that, you know, uh, man uh, obeys the heavens, but the heavens obeys the Tao. So, um, you know, uh, Taoism uh, wasn't, you know, uh, you know, I mean, uh, Taoism is a new religion. Why? It is because, you know, in the very beginning, humanity was, you know, worshipping to a fire, uh, or this God called the Heaven or Father Heaven, something like that. Then they have created this, you know, uh, Yin Yang and Taoism, and they like to claim that um, Taoism, Tao, or this Yin Yang is going to be, you know, uh, something superior, and uh, even Heaven obeys Yin Yang. So, um, as a uh, sky worshipper, I don't, uh, you know, uh, like this idea, and I would like to claim that, you know, Heaven, Father Heaven, is going to be, you know, this um, the highest of uh, deity. So, uh, these Taoists uh, also like to say that uh, uh, this is the will of Heaven, something like that. So, um, uh, there is this story that uh, one Taoist priest called um, uh, Chan Chong, and he uh, he believed to be, you know, immortal teacher. He had this title, immortal teacher. So uh, he, you know, this. Um, visited the, the Great Khan. So, um, uh, Great Khan was very pleased and um, uh, in the meetings, first meetings, this um, you know, Taoist uh, priest did not bow to uh, our Great Khan. Um, however, you know, this, uh, you know, Great Khan accepted him and uh, gave, gave him a, a you know, holy teacher, a title holy teacher. So, um, uh, the writer says that the reason why uh, this uh, Taoist priest uh, visited Genghis Khan it is because he wanted to promote uh, his uh, faith and religion. Uh, I mean Taoism. So uh, um, of course, you know, uh, Genghis Khan was surrounded by this uh, some Buddhist, uh, you know, followers and you know, um, you know, shamanistic uh, warriors. So uh, uh, he, uh, you know, he stayed in Mongolia for, like for two days, and um, during this time, uh, once you know, uh, Genghis Khan went to hunting, and he fell from a horse, and uh, you know, this uh, Taoist priest came and said that you know, um, everything goes by the will of heaven, and I think you need to stop this hunting activity. And um, this is a sign uh, from the uh, heavens that um, you need to stop uh, this hunting. But uh, uh, Genghis Khan says that, um, uh, you know, from my childhood I, I'm like hunting and it is, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's going to be quite uh, impossible to, you know, stop this habit. Um, I shall just keep you, uh, keep your, you know, this um, uh, advice in my mind. So of course he did not, you know, this um, follow this advice, and um, he fell from a horse and during the hunt, and he like died when he was uh, 66. So um, 
Also, this um, Changchung says that you know um, Mongolians have no uh, uh, you know it seems you know Mongolians don't have a, a writing system, but they carve something on their you know wood and they uh, transmit uh, you know these orders and information uh, by this piece of wood. Also, um, uh, Mongols are you know uh, writing down what I said to them uh, using Uyghur script. So uh, uh, Chinggisang is like you know uh, uh, every time you know, when this you know smart Taoist this, you say something you know this um, uh, Chinggisang orders to you know uh, record it something like that. So uh, I wonder uh, you know what happened to these you know recordings. So um, also you know this uh, uh, this. Uh, uh, this uh, man, or this uh, Taoist priest, saying that you know, I see you are, uh, you know, you obey the Father Heaven. I mean, you have banned uh, this uh, washing clothes in a river. You have banned, you know, this um, harvesting mushrooms in the steppe. I mean, uh, I made a video where I harvest mushrooms in the steppe, and it seems it's a very big sin. Uh, to consider it as you know this, uh, uh, you know, if you wash, you know, this uh, uh, your clothing in a uh, river, you will be punished uh, very harshly. And um, also, it seems if you uh, collect mushrooms in this step, you will be, you know, uh, punished very severely. I mean, uh, it seems, you know, someone told Genghis Khan that, you know, these mushrooms are important and uh, you need to, you know, protect their habitat, something like that. So, I, uh, you know, I, I uh, asked, you know, some people uh, if you know anything about these mushrooms and uh, why these mushrooms are so important. So, uh, some people say that, you know, mm, the other name for a mushroom is a tingring takil, meaning uh, the sky, um, uh, Tehil uh, is uh, something that is uh, put in uh, altars. It's something uh, item that is you know worshipped. So it seems there was some kind of a mushroom worship. So, <coughs> um, so uh, do this saying that uh, uh, you need to also you need to you know this um, educate people on you know respecting the elders and respecting their family and etc etc in order to make you know uh, these laws more efficient something like that. So um, well uh, that's pretty much for today and uh, thanks for watching.